welcome back to my channel so we are going to use this sheet mask it is by PS at Primark it costs £1.50 this is the Revive Pro Vitamin B5 fer Ferulic Acid and Caffeine Mask it's made in Korea and it says not very much um, it goes on for 15 to 20 minutes. I've just taken my makeup off. My skin is like having an epi, honestly. I don't really know why because, yeah, I do all my skincare, but there you go. So, oh, okay. There is a lot of liquid. It is literally running all over the place. So bear with. I'm just going to hold this over my vent. Oh, God's sakes. doesn't really smell of much right enough. It's not dripping onto there, but it was coming out all over the place. It smells a bit cucumbery actually, maybe, which I don't mind. I've got my dinner simmering away on the hob. I hate the pans we've got, so hopefully it's not sticking to it all. But eh, anyway, I thought while it's doing that, we may as well kill Two birds with one stone. Oh my god, it's so cold to put on the face. Oh, I'm racing. Does it smell of cucumber? I don't know what it smells of. It's got those little flaps to put over the eyes, but obviously it won't do that. You know what I always say, take it down the neck, rub the excess into the hand, and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, and hopefully we'll be revived. As I say, you can't go wrong with a mask that costs £1.50, can you? I haven't been to Primark since before Christmas and it is April now. Because I don't have the dosh to go in, so there's no point. In fact, I'm never in the town, ever. I, I still haven't been into a super drug yet to see if the ones we have here actually have Juvia's Place. I know it's online, but I've not been into the stores to see. But go and check out my, D, my Depop. It's Hoops83. Selling some good palettes on there for well below the retail pricing and I have some plus size brand new clothing over there. Let's get some sales. That's the only way that I'm able to buy anything new. Um, I missed a delivery today but by the time you see this I'll have the delivery but I don't know when I'll put it up but anyway uh, I'm getting a few unique one of the beauty bag boxes whatever you want to call them because believe it or not for being a beauty junkie, I have only ever tried Benefit Browsings and I've also got the, is it Foolproof it's called? Yeah, Foolproof Powder. I've only tried those two. So I saw that they had some precisely my brow and goof proof I think it is. So I wanted to get some of them. So that is coming, but I missed it today because we were at Aldi's getting our food shop. And I sold a palette to a fellow YouTuber and friend, which I posted out again because I'm pre-recording. She'll have got it by the time you see this. Uh, she bought a palette and it was a toss-up between getting a Pat McGrath blusher that I saw on Depop brand new for £24 or the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Highlighter, which was £20. Or I w was going to go on to this site called Beauty Boxes with Tammy and get the new Colourpop Limelight Palette and want a blush from there. And then I've been watching a new YouTuber to me. She's called Claire Walsh. Hi, Claire, if you're watching. Loving your content. Um, and I've seen a few people do She Glam and I've wanted to try some of their stuff, particularly the blushes, because come on, I love blushes. Um, so I just thought for the money that I made from selling the palette, instead of just getting one item for the whole of that amount, I have got three or four items from She Glam. So I'm waiting for that coming from Shein. 
and I'm so excited because I think like everything else, it's a hit or a miss with some of the stuff, but the things that I've got, I'm really looking forward to giving a try. So yeah, I just hope that I can make some more sales over on my Depop and Able to be able to purchase some other pieces. So that's about the gist of the excitement. Apart from that, nothing much happening. Just plodding on really. It's been a miserable week of weather so far. It's only Tuesday. It's the, oh my God, I don't even know what month I'm in or anything else. Hold on. Is it the 4th of April maybe? Something like that. Um, Typical Easter holidays weather, eh? It's just been absolutely pouring of rain all night. So, I did a makeup look today using my Naked Wild West. If you want to see what look I created, it is over on my Depop. I would... Uh, Depop. Depop on the brain. Over on my Instagram. My Instagram is at makeupwithjulie44. I would love to have you follow me over there. I'm hoping when I hit a thousand that I can maybe do a little thank you sort of giveaway or something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But because my old account got hacked and I was at a couple of thousand, it's taken its time to build it back up. But I'm at 700 and something followers over there. So as I say, it is at Makeup with Julie 44 But yeah, this palette, oh, I love the look I created. See this shade here? Oh my God, love it so much. So I used all three of these shades here and this and then this one. These two are like topper shades, but oh, I really loved how the look turned out. So as I say, if you go on over there. But what I've been doing is, as you know, if you're not new to my channel, I upload on a Monday and a Wednesday at 5 p.m. UK time, 9 a.m. on a Friday morning for the face mask Friday reviews. So in between, sometimes I post up the odd bonus video. Now, regarding my health and different things, my mind is all over the place. So it does work best for me to do it that way. But sometimes I then forget what I chat about in the video. So see when I go back to comments, like Nicola commented in one of my last videos and said, yes, please do a comparison with those foundations. And I'm like, I don't remember what foundations I mentioned. So I had to go back and watch it and see what it was. So it's stuff like that. And um, But anyway, what I'm trying to say is when I am not filming a video, I am shopping my stash and just picking things out and trying to use different products so that I'm getting full use of all of the makeup that I do currently own. So yeah, I pulled this palette out today uh, and I just thought, right, I'm going to do a wee look with that because the thing with these naked palettes is I don't think I have ever hit pan on any one that I've ever owned, like ever. I, I had the naked two and I used that like loads, but I never actually hit pan on anything in it. And I had the naked heat, which I wasn't as keen on, so I gave that away to someone else. And what was the other one? Naked 3. I really loved Naked 3, you know, the rosy pink tones. But I still never hit pan on that either. And then I've got this one. I've got Naked Honey. I've got the Naked Reloaded. And I've never hit pan on any of them. So I was just like, right. But tell me in the comments if it's just me. See if it's something that you really love. Like, say, your favourite palette, favourite lipstick, foundation anything you don't want it to run out do you so there's a part of you that's like you're like I love that so much if I use it all the time I am going to run out of it and unless you're fortunate enough to be able to get it again you do kind of cling on to it or is is that just me because that's kind of what I get like like um uh, my birthday is two weeks before Christmas which sucks but anyway and as if you're not new to my channel, I ended up, I got Boots vouchers for my birthday from my best friend. And I went and bought the Fenty 
set that has the peach uh, cream blusher and the lip product because it was like a limited edition and I waited until she sent my Christmas present because I'd kind of she was like give me an idea so I hinted at that as an idea but I just thought I'll wait and see when the parcel arrives I'll know by the shape of the box if that is it or not. So when it arrived and I took it out of the parcel bag, put it under the tree, I was like, that's not the shape of the box. Definitely, she's not got me. So I went ahead, went into town and I got my Fenty lipstick and then I got the resting peach face set. And then I sent her a message saying, thanks for my birthday gifts, this is what I got. And she went, uh-oh. And I was like, what? And she was like, you might want to return that because Santa might have got you it for Christmas. And I was like, oh, God. And then um, I was like, oh, don't worry about it. It's limited edition. So I can either keep it or, you know, sail it on. And I still, I'm like, you know, I've got it there. Oh, gosh. I actually wore the blusher today, but I've got the other set here. And there's a part of me, it's like, do I sell it? Do I not? Because I'm like, you know, if I've had the blusher for a long time and it either dries out or because it's a cream product, I've got a backup. If I really love this and it runs, do you know what I mean? And I'm just like, so yeah. That was a tangent and a half. But yeah, what I'm trying to do is kind of show up my stash and as I say, this, like this box, for example, has got like my, my contour sort of face palettes and bronzers in. So I'm trying my best to swap them in and out so that everything is getting a chance to get used. And that's what I've been doing since the end of 2021 into now. So yeah. I've been going about and doing that, especially when it comes to like eye palettes, blusher, uh, lipsticks, because I've got more of them. Like I really need some new concealers. It's concealers and brow products that I lack. And I don't, I usually don't do anything with my eyebrows, but I want to try and do something with them. And I've only got, what, five concealers, which I'm sure a lot of people would be like, that's plenty, how many do you need? But some of them are needing to be chucked. But because I don't have many, I want to get some new new ones. But I can't help myself. If I make a sale and then I get the money, I'm just like, right, what do I really want to buy? Do I want to get one concealer or do I want to buy like that palette that I really wanted or that blusher and I know I probably should have gone for the Pat McGrath blusher because I think they retail for like £30 and um, the one that I really would like is a desert, is it desert orchid? I think it's Desert Orchid because I saw Kathleen Lights using it and I'm like, damn, that woman, she makes me want everything. And um, as I say, someone was selling it on Depop for £24 free delivery and I could have got it. But then I was like, I really, really want the Huda Rose Quartz Highlight. And again, someone was sending, selling that for £20 free delivery. And then again... I was just like, I, I just get that side, I'm like, ah. Oh. Whereas, like, when I did work and I was able to work, I could justify getting a couple of the things or I'd be silly and I'd put them onto either a credit card or stuff like that, store cards. But they've been long since cut up. But, yeah. So, anyway, I've had a wee rabble on there, but this mask, it feels okay. It's adhering pretty well considering I'm chatting away it doesn't smell very nice but then I'm like see because I was in the kitchen cooking I'm like is that smell on my top I don't know it's all right but it's time to remove it I like to remove it move it don't know what's wrong with me today at all I actually ache <laughs> so much but so hopefully that's given the skin a wee bit of a revive it's okay, it looks a bit plumper. I don't know if I would personally go and buy that again, but as I say, it's only £1.50. And I'm trying it for you guys. 
So yeah. But God knows if or when I will get to Primark. See, because I don't go anywhere, I feel like there's no point in me buying clothing because I literally live in either my pyjamas or comfy clothes because I'm just in the in the house. So what's the point in wearing? In fact, I don't even own a pair of jeans. I just don't own them. I've got a pair of denim jeggings, but I don't own a physical pair of jeans. It's just leggings I've got. I don't own one single dress anymore. I don't have any skirts because I just don't go anywhere. So I don't see the point in me spending money, if I have money, on clothing. I would rather spend it on makeup or skincare or something like that because I am going to get more joy and use out of it. So, I mean, again, even I was just like, I could go into Shein and the only thing I would buy clothes-wise would be pyjamas or underwear or comfies. And I don't really need comfies, though I do need some more pyjamas. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. I just love chatting away. So if you <laughs> enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I better go and check my dinner. And in case you're interested in what I'm having for dinner, I am having one of my all-time favourites. Cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup, preferably Heinz. Chicken breast, broccoli, mushrooms with some garlic in it, a sprinkle of salt and pepper and then any kind of pasta you've got. It is, oh my god, amazing. If you try it, let me know. Bye.